Good morning, Christchurch. Uh, my name is Broden Boswick. Coming back with another uh, CC midweek vlog. Um, for this one, I'm just going to take you through a day in the life of a Baldwin Wallace football player. Um, on Tuesday, August 8th, I moved back into school to participate in my fall football camp. Um, we're getting towards the end of it, but today we have some fun activities with the team, so I'm going to take you through that and kind of show you what a day in our life looks like during camp. I uh, just got over to the Union Hall where to grab breakfast. <laughs> So just grab breakfast. Um, unfortunately, our dining services are only functional for um, lunch and dinner right now because it is still the summertime. There's only a handful of people on campus. Our team, the band, and everything, so they're not fully functional yet. So the breakfast options are a little limited, but we try to get the healthiest thing we can. Uh, today, just grab some hard boiled eggs and banana. A little bit of peanut butter to go with that banana. So we're gonna throw this down, fuel up, and get ready for practice. Just got back from the Union Hall with my breakfast. It's approximately 6:30. Uh, practice starts around 7:40, but I gotta be out there at 7:30, a little bit earlier for some specialist stuff. Um, so before then, we're gonna take a little bit of time to recover in our Norma Tech boots, get that blood flowing before practice starts. And our coach yesterday, I spoke to the team at the end of the night during our team meeting and challenged all of us just to reflect on the day, uh, to take a journal or a piece of paper and just write down uh, three things, something that you're grateful for, something that you did well, and something that you could work on. So I'm going to use my, my journal and write those in there. All right, it's uh, seven o'clock. We're walking over to the facility now. Let's have a day. Sweet dorm room, by the way. I think it's the best on campus. Just saying. Shout out Meredith, my mom. Great designer. If you ever need help with your house, let me know. I got you. Um, but it's approximately 11:30 now. We had practice from again like 7:30 to somewhere between 10:30 and 11, give or take. I think we been a little, little bit longer today. And um, to be honest, it wasn't an amazing practice. It was kind of average for myself and for the team, you know. Um, made some good plays, and kind of the ending was a little, a little tough for me. So that's a great thing about playing sports, is that it's not always going to go your way. And the beauty in it comes with kind of like that mental toughness and just having the ability to get work through those things. I was very upset with how it ended, not very happy. Um, but again, if you hold on to that. You're only gonna dig yourself a deeper hole. We kind of call it quicksand. Once you get in, you keep fighting, you keep fighting. You're like, man, man, I gotta fix this. Keep fighting, keep fighting. And the deeper you sink, and then eventually you're stuck and you can't get out of it. So, um, I like to say, you just kind of like put it in the bucket, put it in the back pocket. Um, you just gotta forget about it, and move on to the next day. You know, you can't hold on to those things or else they'll keep bringing you down. So that's what I'm gonna do. Mediocre practice wasn't the best, but it's over with now. And you gotta move on to tomorrow. Um, but now we're going to head over to lunch, so let's go. Alright, so it's a little after 1 o'clock now. You know, we had lunch at like 11, I got there around 11.30. Um, ate up, and I had a little bit of downtime. Usually I'd 
get in bed, probably rest up, kind of let the body recover. But um, on campus, I work laundry for the football team. So after practice, I do our laundry. I was a couple of the other teammates. And we have three girls from the lacrosse team that help us. And they usually kind of put the laundry in, wash it, and then at the end of the night, uh, we kind of put it up and make sure everything's in the right spot. But they were not here today. So instead of laying down, we had to come back to the facility after lunch and make sure that's getting taken care of. So kind of just did that. And now we're on our way to our first meeting. All right, y'all. Uh, it's been a minute. Last update was a little after one o'clock. Now it's 4.30, so if that timeline kind of shows you how busy we get, it's uh, it's real fun. Not a lot of downtime to kind of pull your phone out and just record a video. <laughs> so um, like I said, that last video had us go into our first meeting of the day. That was an offense and offense slash defensive meeting, whatever side of the ball you're on. I play offense, so we kind of broke down by position group, I play receiver, so we went to that receivers meeting, we watched the film, and got better, learned from our mistakes, and just kind of apply that in the future. Uh, so that was fun. After that, we went back from where we were we um, to our athletic facility, and we had a special teams meeting. Um, went over some special teams units, uh, pump block, hands team, I don't know if any of these terms are relevant, but that's what we went over. Um, I'm starting on both of those, so that was kind of cool, that's fun. Gotta pay attention, so that was fun. Um, that kind of took us to right now, though. Um, in between both those meetings, I had a little bit of downtime, like 20 minutes, where, as I mentioned before, we're kind of helping with the laundry, so I ran in and switched the laundry out, made sure everything was uh, going smoothly with that. Then went to that meeting. Then after the meeting, I went back to the laundry room and got the rest of the laundry switched out. But now it's 4.30, we gotta head over back to the union um, for some dinner, early dinner. So let's keep rolling. All right, so post dinner now. Um, man, it's about 6.30. So again, dinner was at 4.30, so time's flying by. Ate dinner. Um, just kind of hung out with the dudes for a little bit, the dining halls, talking, whatever, with some downtime. And then we went back for our second meeting of the day with the offense, and we did our little install, just install new plays, making sure we understand what's going on. And now that's over, and then we're on to our last thing of the night. Um, we have a team meeting at 645. We're going to hear from one of our coaches. He's going to speak to us about something, maybe about his uh, a little bit of his background, because I believe he's new. We don't know too much about him. He's a def defensive assistant. He kind of just talked to us about leadership and everything. And then after that, we have our freshman talent show tonight. So all the incoming freshmen have to compete in like a talent show with their uh, position group. So that's going to be real fun. So looking forward to that. All right. So that concludes our night. It's about 8.30. Um, we had our little team meeting and our talent show. Talent show was hilarious. Uh, we don't allow cameras in there though just so everything that happens stays kind of within closed doors but i was crying i was crying i made fun of a little bit did a little player comp and they said i looked like the kid from Heath robinson's which it's true it was awesome it's funny stuff um and then just after that meeting just kind of got finished up with all the laundry duty got it all put back in everybody's lockers make sure they have it so that's kind of like the end of my day it's 8 30. And you know, that's really all it is. It's long days, you're up early, waking up at, what is it, 5.45. Kind of got practice, meetings. It's kind of going back and forth to places, but all in all, it's not that bad. All right, so um, to wrap up this day in life, I just kind of want to take you guys through um, how Faith lives on campus here at BW and within the football team. Um, so quickly... After practice every day, there's a group of us that goes down to the end zone, north end zone, and locks arms, puts hands on each other, and like group prayer. And uh, that's kind of a new thing we started this year, as I feel like it's kind of been like a revival in youth faith and like college group age faith. So that's spreading around our team. It's a beautiful thing to see. Uh, the group of us has grown. 
after each practice, uh, we have a different leader in prayer every day. Um, so it's a beautiful thing just to kind of see moving throughout our team. And then just on campus, BW um, is a private university, not, um, what is it, related to the church, I guess, anymore. But on campus, we still have um, opportunities, I guess, for students who are seeking experiences within their faith. Um, there is a chapel that's located on church that is open to students whenever they feel, would like. Um, there's two groups that I know of that are both faith-based organizations. There's the Electric Ministry, which is more so catered towards the uh, conservatory on BW, the music program. And I know they, they, they do uh, worship nights, sing music, do their whole spiel. I haven't been over there yet, but uh, I know they started last year and they're doing pretty well for themselves, so that's awesome to see. And then what I'm part of is FCA. It's the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Um, we meet, oh man, it's either every Monday or Tuesday night at like 9 uh, p.m. There's a group of athletes, people from all different sports that come together and we read scripture and talk about just our faith and everything, how um, faith impacts our lives in sport and outside of sport. So that's just a great group that I get to be a part of. Um, within those meetings, we've had um, group, like, meetings between universities we've had uh, hosted ashland university for an fca meeting where they brought up their entire worship team it was awesome um so that was really cool got to see some people that i know from high school that i haven't seen in a while and kind of talk to each other about our faith and everything that was that was a really cool experience but yeah i mean people kind of i guess bw is a lot closer to strongsville than people think or not that people think, but it's a lot closer to Strongsville than some other universities that people go to. But I know a fear is that going to university um, and leaving your hometown kind of takes you away from your church and takes you away from, it's easier to get away, get out of your faith. But I, I really appreciate what BW offers and the different organizations they have for people to be a part of to kind of, if you are moving far away, to be able to keep that, keep that going and have people in your corner to kind of make sure that you are, um, sticking with it we'll say so yeah that's been a day in my life um again it's a little after 8 30 gonna just relax recover probably eat one more meal to make sure i keep weight <laughs> for camp and then we're gonna do it all over again all right take care y'all